A story you never expected to hear. The evil queen falls in love with the hero. Take what I say with a grain of ricin. You have become the double-edged sword trembling at my throat. You are wilderness, beckoning me into the pitch black. You, my young hero, you are dangerous to me. Together, we are a civil war. A red border right between our bodies as if that will bring me any closer to your God. And believe me, I'm trying to make that happen. I've started each prayer to him with an apology and ended each one with a question mark. But I never seem to hear his voice the way that you do. Last night, the winter awoke itself from its lucid dreaming. The snow came down in holy water. Your touch, it is looming over my skin still like frostbite. And I can see you now riding on your horse, trying to fight off the cold as if it were me. You were supposed to fight me. What did you see when we first met? Perhaps you see what I cannot. You would be the first. But let me say, young hero, I see things in you as well. You are gentle. You have loved someone before you are unsure. Your regrets are like phantom limbs and one of them is ever touching me, ever loving me. I hang from your fingers like spider webbing, unbreakable and stuck. You are going to come here again. I see it in the prophecy I have dissected. And every prophecy has a weak nerve ending. I hold this one between shaking fingers. This one says you are going to die. And you should know that every queen also has a weak nerve ending. Mine has caused me to fall to my knees. Forgive me, young hero, for I have sinned. Yeah.